I'm Sister Roseanne Rustemeyer, a school sister of Notre Dame. I'm speaking to you today from St. Louis, Missouri. I want to talk with you a bit about our missions in Africa. I work for our province of Africa as the development director, and I belong to the province of Africa, which was begun in 2011. I'm first of all very grateful to the mission office for the invitation to share about our work with the people of Africa. Our foundress, Blessed Teresa Gerhardinger, had a dream of working in Africa way back in 1858. At the time, it was her desire to go to Khartoum in Sudan. Circumstances at the time did not permit that dream to be fulfilled. But following Vatican II, many of our American provinces were asked to look at ministry at the edges of society. And it was the church, it was Paul VI especially, who invited that change. So from 1970 to 1975, we established missions in five countries in Africa. We still serve in five countries in Africa. And now after 50 years of service, our general council is opening a mission in South Sudan. In July of 2020, four school sisters of Notre Dame went to fulfill Mother Teresa's dream by doing ministry in Sudan. Pictured here are the four sisters, as well as their installation by the bishop. Our constitution says that we approach education in its broadest perspective. We serve with the poor. We serve in those areas that maybe other people won't go to serve. We're basically educators. We have nine young sisters who are in administration in schools. We have nurses, we have social workers, we have pastoral ministers. Always our sisters are associated with a parish where they serve as educators, but also in other positions in the parish. Last year when the COVID crisis and pandemic interrupted our lives, the sisters in Africa also were kept from doing their regular school activities. In the meantime, they did things like make rosaries, make and distribute face masks, and they made furniture coverings that could be used by the people. They visited the elderly. Also, their soap making activities were helpful. Africa was lucky in that not so many people got the sickness nor died as we experienced in this country, but the economic side of the pandemic has been particularly troublesome in the countries of Africa. We are evangelizers. We have been sent to spread the good news. We are evangelizing among the young people in Africa. The church in Africa is the largest segment of our Catholic Church and it's growing the fastest of any part of the world. And because many of our sisters are young and need to be prepared for their professional work, their ministry just now is a ministry of study. We want to invite you to be a part of that ministry with us. You too are evangelizing by supporting the work we do. We're asking you to please be generous and help us in ways that we reach out. Our sisters do not receive good remuneration for their work because the parishes are poor. So we need your help 
to support the livelihood of our sisters as well as outreach in their ministries. Now I'll invite Sister Petronilla, one of the African sisters, to also talk with you. I am Sister Petronilla, a school sister of Notre Dame and a student at the Oblate School of Theology, San Antonio, Texas. On behalf of all the school sisters of Notre Dame, province of Africa, serving in various missions with the most needy, I want to thank you most sincerely for your generous financial contribution and moral support, which continue to make our services to God's people possible. We want to thank you profoundly. May God bless you all.